fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me What's up, Misha Cooks Cooking Squad? I'm back with another one. Okay, today is Saturday. And guess what? I hope y'all having a fun, fun Saturday because I sure am chilling and maxing with the kiddos today. So this is what I am making today for my children. I will be making Nestle Toho House chocolate chip cookies. And we are going to have some wonderful, delightful summertime watermelon cucumber juice plus... As y'all know, I've got this uh, juicer thing, and so I need some. I'm gonna mix that with the melon and cucumber because I love cucumber and something else with it. I just don't know that's my flavor right now. But these are um, wonderful summer drinks that you can mix for your uh, guests, house guests that's coming over, kids. I don't know, but yeah. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, what happened was I have anxiety, so I had to take a break because I got the oven on, and I'm going to cook these uh, cookies right here. And so um, what happened was I had to turn off the camera, so that's another thing going on. So I'm going to begin to spread these cookies out. Guys, I'm back. Okay, so... I got sick because I have anemia, but I'm ready to cut this up and show you how I make the um, this watermelon up and how I make my watermelon juice. So let's get started. So first, you need this watermelon, of course. So I'm going to cut this watermelon up. And you guys, I will tell you a story about how I got anemia probably in another uh, video, but um, I'm not going to tell you too much because... I have a lot of stuff to do on this video, but that's that's a subject that everybody probably needs to touch in on because um uh it's it's like when you have anemia you get tired real real fast and no matter what you do you still um get tired you get dizzy it's a lot of things that goes on with that and like um basically there's foods and different things you have to eat to keep that up. But sometimes that does not work. And we are often, some of us that know what I'm talking about, we have to have blood transfusions and different things like that. So, um, yeah, so I had to pause this video. But, yeah, so anyway, so you just cut these uh, watermelons up in these slices right here. And this watermelon, it's all right, but it ain't all right. It ain't that juicy, but... And it's like kind of like, I suppose I did the video way earlier, and the watermelon is, I don't know. But you still can use this juice. Or you don't waste no food, fruit, or anything. But it's not the best watermelon because I've store about it. Most of the vendors, the best to get, well, to get the best watermelon is to go buy it from the vendor outside of the store. Because the store bought ones, I ain't found a good one yet. And I'll be like, in my town, it's like a desert town, and most of the field um, out store vendors are better uh, quality of fruit. So, I'm just showing you how I make this juice. And I'll just cut it in these little dice slices right here. So what I'm going to do is take my, um, move these out the way, push in my blender. I'm just going to put So that's how I look. I filled it up. And um just like that. Okay. 
Okay, so guys, what I'm going to do though, before I blend this, I'm going to have to put my cookies in because it's very hot. And where I stay at, um, it's very hot. So I'm going to slide this over. And I'm going to put my cookies on because I'm cooking for, cookies for the kids. And it's hot in my kitchen, so I have to get this over it. Because that's probably why I was feeling uh, like I was going to faint anyway. But I still got, you know, problems. It's too hot. I don't like heat. And that's another thing. So I'm going to set my camera up here. And so, like I said, I'm going to get this done also. So I got these Toll House cookies. And all I do sometimes is just basically simply, um, now you can do it either way you want to. Somebody just, some people just, uh, dip, but I do not do that. So, uh, let me grab a little bit of this oil because, um, the cookies will be easily to come off. If I oil this wax paper, it's supposed to come off, but I tried it already before. So I'm just going to put just a little of the oil on here. This is what I do. I don't know about anybody else, but I know what works for me. So I'm not a chef, but this is what I do. So all I do is kind of like roll the cookie out like this, like, and, um, and it doesn't matter. Like, sometimes I make them ch some big, some small. Um, anyways, for the kids, they just been about to, they just going to devour all this. They don't care about what shapes and sizes it is. They're just going to eat it up, and that's about it. But I always have, like, snacks and stuff for these kids because they, it's like, they got to have something they eat on, or they just keep coming in the refrigerator trying to eat your food up. You know what I'm saying? If you have a lot of kiddos like me. But, so, all I do is just do this. And a lot of times, you must see me on these videos, I like to work with my hands, and I always wash my hands. Of course, because cleansiness is next to godliness, and there is no way I can't be in the kitchen and don't wash my hands. So, I like to work with my hands, but I make sure they're very, very clean. So, I'll do like a couple of rows of these. My kitchen when it ooh, it's hot. It's hot right now. I'm trying to hurry up. So I already pre uh heated the oven. Most of you guys should do that because it takes it don't take that long for these cookies. I don't really cook them like I don't have I don't make them real, real hard, but I make them real real soft. Um, where they can be soft and you chew them, so it don't take that long to cook these cookies. I don't make cookies from scratch, but sometimes when I'm doing stuff fast for my kids, I like to have it dough ready. So anyway, see, I just did it like that. Whoa! And um, I'm gonna put these in my oven. Okay, so I got them over this also. I'm gonna open it up. I have it already on this part, so. So I placed them there in the oven. I'm gonna get that. I might get another one and put it in there so it goes even faster. Okay, so now I'm gonna start blending the uh, watermelon. that and it smells delicious so um I'm gonna uh have to drain this so I'm gonna slide this over and then I, I'm gonna put it in this container right here uh shout out to my friend she gave me this little beautiful uh, glass pitcher 
Um, it kind of got cracked a little bit on the side, but who cares? Um, it still works. But um, I'm going to drain this um, watermelon juice um, with the strainer. And um, you could uh, pour the, uh, it's like draining the watermelon. Uh, so um, stay tuned. So you really need a strainer. So I'm just going to add my ice to this that I add to it. I'm using a strainer. So you just pour it like that, and it's catching all the uh, extra access to the um, watermelon, you guys. And this is some good old drink. I'm just going to add to that. So it's going down. Turn my gratis camera. See how it's going down? It's going down slow, y'all. We got enough of that juice in here. I'm going to put that back up there. Try to get some more of that juice. Oh, it's already finished draining. And you can see that that's just the watermelon that's up in there. And this is how I pull my jar back. So what I'm going to do is take this to the sink and try to get this out. And then uh, finish the rest that's remaining up in here. And then I'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to just take the remainder of this. This out here, good old watermelon juice. Okay, so basically, um, let me see here the juice, it looks real refreshing. Let me, I like to add cucumber to this, so I'm going to cut this up. So t stay tuned. So I'm going to begin to cut this, uh, put some of these cucumbers up in here. Because it's the way I like them. Then cucumbers with this watermelon juice. And y'all, I'm going to move this cord. Because it's probably in the way. And I cannot. Okay, I have to stop my in the mood cord, so I'm just gonna finish cutting these up. I'm not gonna put that many because I'm cutting more of these. I'm gonna eat some, put some in my melon. That's why I'm cutting a lot. But I'm not gonna put a lot inside of this uh, watermelon uh, container. It should be a little bit thinner than this, though. I'm just cutting them thick like this because I don't want them like this. I'm just going to take all the thin ones because these are going to be for my infuser. If you saw my other video, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to dip this up in here like this here. And just mix that good old, good old cucumber, <laughs> cucumber up in here like that. I'm going to add a, little, a few more. And when I say this juice is healthy, oh, stop talking like that. <laughs> it's healthy. And then what I'm going to do is, y'all, I'm going to add me a little bit of ice to that. Then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and, girl, when it be on chill. So I just added just a few more things of ice. And I'm going to dip some more cucumber with an eye. And that's basically what I do for making my uh, watermelon water. This is very refreshing drink for, um, this is a good old drink, uh, for summer, um, when it's hot outside, because I live, like, in the desert. And we get uh, up to 100 and probably, like, 119, I don't know. But, yeah, so this is how it's looking. And, um, I'm just going to put that in the, um. 
refrigerator to get chilled a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to go get my cookies that I got over here. Okay, so I just took my fresh um, cookies out of the oven. And this is what they're looking like, y'all. They are delectably delicious chocolate chip cookies. Can you hold my light? I'm talking to my daughter. But, um, turn that light because I need to show this. So, this is how they're looking. They're good. I don't really cook them like uh, burnt mess like that. Most people want to see burntness. So, I'm going to just place them on there. And this keeps the chewiness. And you cook them like this. Can you hold this like this? I'll put them over there. Mm, it's getting hot, so I'm going to put it up here. Okay, so I'm just going to just... Oops. And look at this. See the back of that? Perfect cookie. Just put them like that. Oh, that's a favor. Well, that's gonna stay in here, and I am not gonna uh edit that at all. Now y'all know when you got a camera, it will not stay right. Wow. So, this is how these cookies are looking. And uh, as y'all can see, my camera just fell. People was calling me on the phone, got my nerves all jacked up. And I don't even know why, but uh, yeah, I'm doing multi, I'm multitasking at home. And these people don't understand. I'm trying to get these videos out, and they just bring, 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 bring my phone. Y'all know how it is. But y'all just saw a disaster because I just dropped that. But anywho, uh, we're giving it to you real and live. And I ain't got time to be editing that. That's going to be right on the video. But, um, this is how the cookies came out, and uh, I gotta make some more because my kids are very, very greedy, and they look deliciously, uh, good right now. So, um, yeah. So, uh, uh, stay tuned, and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cut this melon, it's the last one. Last drink, y'all. So, I'm going to, uh, get my infuser, so stay tuned. You know, she was dead. Okay, so guys, um, this is my glass. I'm going to put the pour me some of this wa watermelon juice. Um, I fixed me some chocolate, but that's irrelevant right now. So I'm going to pour this juice inside here. And I had extra cucumbers over here. Just dip some cucumbers inside there. Like that. Mix it in. And there you have it. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. God bless you. And have a fun Saturday. And the cookies that I cooked earlier... Oh, yeah, them kids devour those. So, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, thanks for, uh, once again, thanks for uh, tuning into my channel. God bless you, and have a nice day. So, I'm just going to show you the rest of this. Now, look, and it's so good.